when we we eventually went in, I had to go in stern first with the ramp on the stern and uh, lowered the ramp. But there, you see, it was a terrible thing because there was uh, bodies in the water and you didn't know whether they were alive or dead. We were 19. We were all skinny and hungry. Well, I don't think any of us had ever even thought about being afraid. It was just accepted. We didn't know it was D-Day. We just knew there was, there was going to be an invasion, you know, we amphibious landing on Normandy. We actually thought we would be going to be unloading all that stuff on the beach. Of course, we didn't realise it was going to be a killing beach. They started landing at 7.30 in the morning. And uh, there was all, as you went in, there was all floating debris and bodies. And I almost, at the time, didn't care damn if I got, got a bullet and I was joining them, you know. That's how I felt about because of all them, those poor devils. But these guys had come all that way, thousands of miles from their home to help us. And that's as far as they got. That's sad, that is sad. I've got a, a lifetime memories of them. I'm, I wake most nights and thinking until midnight, thinking about what I went through on D-Day. It was absolutely hell on earth. You could never describe what it was like, honestly. I find it hard now, yeah. I wouldn't, I've never seen a film of it, I've never watched a film or anything like that. Because there was no need to, it was actually there and so what happened? I got wounded in France, yeah. Uh, yeah it was, I was in so much pain with shrapnel then that they took me to Sheffield from the Isle of Wight and they removed the shrapnel. But I still got what they call peppered, that small stuff it wasn't worth operating on. Well, I've got all of that in there. You see, actually, they had cleared, more or less cleared the beach by midday. But from the beach, over the pebble reef, and they were taking, taking prisoners, they were actually. Well, it's beyond sadness, it's beyond that. It's uh, take a bit of understanding, really, to how, how many human beings can be wiped out. I'd just like to say to you all, from the bottom of my heart, if any of you would like to help the Royal Marine or the Army or Navy veterans, please play the veterans lottery.